Have you ever wondered if children have rights? Every person on this planet has rights and so does every child. Child right means that the children have every right that makes them happy and healthy. Every child has a right for good health care and nutrition. It does not matter if a child is a boy or a girl. Every child has the right to education. It does not matter who they are or from where they come from. Every child has its right to go to school. Every child has the right to protection, which means he should be free from all sorts of violence, whether at school, street or even at home. Just because they are children, it does not mean that we can silence their voice. Because only a child knows what he or she is suffering. It is everyone's responsibility to ensure that every child has a right to survival, development and their protection. The children deserve to be happy, healthy and full of hope and they cannot do it alone. We have made a promise to ensure every right to every child. We, the students of Govind Ramnath Kauri College of Law, Legal Aid Cell Dovoli, are presenting this video before y'all to enlighten y'all about the rights of the children. The topic that I am going to speak today is street children and child labour. Child labour is a rising crime which forces children to do illegal jobs in houses, industries, factories. Child labour affects the growth and development of a child in every aspect that is physically, socially and mentally. One of the major problems in India are the street children. They are the children who have run away from their homes in search of better opportunities or the children who have lost their parents and have no one to look after them. People, for their selfish motives, use such children for activities like rag picking, begging and most importantly in supplying drugs. My topic is child trafficking. Child trafficking in simple terms, it means trading of children. Now this trading is done so that they can make these children work. Work in small industries, factories, prostitution, drug trafficking and many other such illegal activities. In India, child trafficking is prohibited by law. It is prohibited by the Immoral Trafficking Prevention Act of 1956, Article 23.1 of the Indian Constitution, the POSCO Act of 2012 and IPC Section 370A. The punishment for child trafficking is fine and rigorous imprisonment of minimum of 5 years which can be extended up to the period of 7 years. To stop child trafficking, there are various schemes like the Integrated Child Protection Scheme, National Policy for Children, National Plan of Action for Children. All these schemes are made by the government to stop child trafficking. The topic that I am going to be speaking on is children with disabilities. It is considered that around 150 million children in the world live with a disability. 80% of them live in a developing country and most of these children do not receive any treatment and most of them are discriminated. There are many causes of disability. Disability is mainly caused by genetic problems, disease, malnutrition, poverty, etc. It is found out that only 2% of disabled children have access to education and in many places children suffering from disability are isolated, shunned and are mostly considered as untouchables. The Constitution of India applies uniformly to every legal citizen of India, whether they are healthy or disabled in any way. The Constitution secures to its citizens, including the disabled, a right to justice, liberty of thought, expression, belief, equality of status and of opportunity, and for the promotion of fraternity. Children in conflict with law and child offenders. There are various factors that are responsible for children coming in conflict with law. These could be poverty, illiteracy, negative influence, peer pressure, etc. Hence, they are involved in various crimes. Earlier, crimes which are committed by male below 16 years of age and female below 18 years are said to be crimes committed by a juvenile. But now, it is below 18 years for both genders. In India, there is juvenile justice system specially dedicated to handle crimes committed by juvenile offenders. My topic is on early childhood care and education and right to survival and development. 
Increasingly common, early childhood care plays an important role in children's development and provides a valuable support to families and young children. It is therefore important to understand the impact of these services and to ensure the co- their quality and accessibility. Child abuse in India. Child abuse in its various forms can be found everywhere in India, in cities and rural homes, in the homes of rich and poor, and on the streets and schools. A study by UNICEF shows that there are 30 different forms of physical and verbal abuse that Indian parents uh, use on their children as young as 0 to 6 years as part of their disciplining efforts which includes physical violence, uh, which includes uh, especially like burning, pinching, slapping, beating with uh, implements like sticks, belts, rods, verbal abuse and uh, blaming children, criticizing them, shouting at them, using foul language. Uh, witnessing physical violence towards one of the parents, uh, for example, domestic violence towards siblings outside the family, and emotional abuse, uh, for example, restricting movement, denying food, discrimination, whether it comes to girl child or otherwise also, instilling fear in them, etc. Children are our future, and it is we the people who need to protect them and guide them on the right path. Requesting everyone who are watching this video, that if you all see any child whose rights are being violated or indulging in illegal activities, then kindly contact to the nearby police station because children are our future.